Hi all, this is Dr. Reshmi. In this video, we are going to see about intrauterine fetal death. Definition, all fetal death weighing 500 grams or more, both during pregnancy or during labor is called as intrauterine fetal death. Causes, maternal causes like diabetes, hypertension in pregnancy, maternal infections like malaria and hepatitis, hyperpyrexia, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, thrombophilia, prolonged or obstructed labor, postterm pregnancy and autoimmune disorders like systemic lupus erythematosus. Fetal causes like chromosomal abnormalities, infections, RH incompatibility, IUGR and non-immune high drops. Placental causes like abruption, placenta previa, cord around the neck, cord prolapse, twin to twin transfusion syndrome and placental insufficiency. Symptoms The patient usually gives history of absence of fetal movements. Signs On clinical examination by the doctor, the fundal height will be smaller than the period of gestation, uterus feels flaccid, there won't be any fetal movements on palpation, fetal heart sounds are absent, cardiotocogram shows flat trace and there will be eggshell crackling feel of fetal head which is a late feature. Investigations, ultrasound obstetrics which usually reveals lack of fetal movements, no fetal heart rate, oligohydramnios, collapsed cranial bones. X-ray shows spalding sign which means overlapping of cranial bones. It is usually seen 7 days after fetal death. Hyperflexion of spine, crowding of rib shadow and appearance of gas shadow in heart. Blood investigations like total count and fibrinogen should be done. Complications, psychological upset, infection, disseminated intravascular coagulation and during labor there will be uterine inertia, retained placenta and postpartum hemorrhage. Management includes both medical induction and surgical termination. In medical induction, the drugs used are mifepristone and prostaglandin, mesoprostol 25 microgram, PGE2 gel or serviprime gel and oxytocin infusion. In case, surgical termination is usually done in case of previous two or more LSES, major placenta previa and transverse lie. Lactation suppression, postpartum suppression of lactation is usually done by the drug called cabergolin. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video.